Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back, you guys. Today's daily devotion, March 25th, um, is entitled Never Too Late. And it comes from Isaiah 59 and 1. Morning version is the N-A, S as in Sam, B as in boy version. And the evening version of Isaiah 59 and 1 is the NL as in Larry, T as in Tom version. Or the New Living Translation, if you will. Isaiah 59 and 1 reads, Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save nor his ear so dull that it cannot hear. Oh, this is good news. Mm, never too late. The text says, do you have regrets in your life that you wish you could take back? Things that you aren't proud of. You lay awake at night thinking about mistakes you've made and you wonder if You've gone too far to ever get back. When Jesus hung on the cross, there were two thieves hanging beside him. One of those thieves, as he hung in his final moments of life, asked Jesus for grace and a second chance. That thief, minutes before death, was given forgiveness and eternal life. The very same day he entered paradise as a forgiven and clean man. In light of his story, how can we ever say that it's too late to turn it all around? And our prayer for today is, give me a fresh start today, Lord. I need to remember that your mercy and forgiveness awaits me every single morning. Thank you, Lord. I trust in that forgiveness today and ask for a renewed sense of purpose. Now, listen. Listen. The thief that hung next to Jesus asked for grace. Now, maybe... What he was asking for was to live, right? Get me down from here, Grace. Let me go free, Grace. Let me go back home to my family, Grace. You know what I mean? Save me from these perils, Grace, right? Nonetheless, his prayer was answered. It was not, it, although it was answered on this side, it was fulfilled on the other, right? So sometimes when we ask for grace, sometimes when we move to a place of um, being saved, being restored, being renewed, okay, it don't mean that all that's going to be done all the time on this side. Sometimes what's done on this side is completed on the other. I just wanted to put that footnote out there, okay? Because he is causing them to pick up their beds and walk. He is restoring. He is definitely healing and people are getting up and they're where people thought that others thought that they were dead and gone. They're getting up and they're walking and they're living. And then there are some that are extended grace on this side and it is fulfilled on the other side. I just want to say that. All right. I just want to say that because a lot of times people think you are rescued and you are saved or you are healed. And when I mean saved, I mean rescued. You know what I mean? 
and uh, you are restored is for this side. It's for this world. Um, there are people that are in uh, um, in pain and agony and their restoration, true restoration lies in heaven. It's not here on this earthly plane. And so as much as we want them to be here on this earthly plane with us, their true healing and restoration, being being without pain and complete wholeness and healness lies in heaven. Just wanted to just wanted to put it out there now, okay? All right, now let's read the evening version. The evening version of Isaiah 59 and 1, New Living Translation says, Listen, the Lord's arms are not too weak to save you, nor is his ear too deaf to hear you call. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you guys know I am a huge proponent. Of talking with the Lord. Nothing elaborate. Nothing elaborate. And that's not what I'm saying. If your father God. And oh heavenly father. And oh beloved one. No we don't have to do all that. We can say Lord I'm tired. Lord I'm hurting. Lord show me what this is. Lord show me which way to go. Help me father. Thank you Lord for another day. Thank you, Lord, that you blessed me to get it in on time. Thank you, Lord, that you helped me make it home. Thank you, Lord, that you helped me make it to the gas station. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes. If you feel like it's too late to change something in your life for the better, remember the story of the thief on the cross. There is always hope in Jesus. Amen. The God we serve is the God of second chances. That might sound cliche, but it couldn't be more true. He love, his love is has no end and his grace has no boundary. Come on, let's read it again. His love has no end and his grace has no boundary. It is never too late for you to follow him with your life. And our prayer for the evening is, Lord, thank you for reminding me that your love is always ready to save me from worry, fear, or self-doubt. Help me to rest tonight in the knowledge that you all you are always willing and ready to rescue me. And then our question for ourselves today is, what do you need saving from this evening? Ask God to help you and trust that he will listen. Listen, sometimes the only way to get some sleep the only way to get some rest, the only way to to be able to focus on something is if you give it to God. And speaking more specifically about being on this plane and being on this earth that you there there is there 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 is no other. There is no other. Oh, you can ask your neighbor. You can ask your husband, you can ask a friend, your wife, so on and so forth. You can depend on mama and daddy and sister and brother, but there is one that sticks closer than a brother, right? There is one who sits high and looks low. There is one who is both the beginning of a thing and the end of a thing. He is in time and out of time and time itself, right? Call upon him. Ask him. Just ask him. Just ask him. Something I taught my, I call them my kids, my niece and my nephew. Um, it's just simple things around the house. Once my niece was going to get her driver's license and she couldn't find her birth certificate. And um, they had moved and stuff was packed up. I said, well, baby, have you prayed? And she said, no. I said, well, go on and ask the Lord to help you find it. 
you know, he knows where it is. I don't know where it is. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where it is. Your mama don't know. Ask. And uh, she prayed. And she called me back and she said, Auntie, I found it. I found it. I said, I told you. I told you. Little, these are little things, right? These are little things. These are little lessons that we, we teach our children or we teach our young ones. We teach them in terms of going to the father. Teach them while they're young. And, and you know, uh, she wasn't no baby, but at the same time, these are things that we, we, we've talked with them about all the way through and still now in her 30s it's the same thing. She gets the same answer. I don't have the answer. Have you prayed about it? Have you asked the Lord? And it's the same advice I give to you. Have you prayed about it? Have you asked the Lord? And we ask him for everything, right? We ask him for everything, everything, <laughs> everything. Go to God in prayer, right? And again, he always answers, right? He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. We know that. And it may not be the answer that you want, but it is an answer. It may not be on this side. It may be on the other side that you get what it is that you need. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys this real quick. I, I remember having a conversation with my mother and um, we were talking about um, uh, an, uh, an individual that had been missing and everyone thought it might have been Susan Smart that we thought was, was dead and gone because they had been missing for so long and then uh, she ended up you know, being returned after having been kidnapped and held captive and that type of thing. And people were so upset because of what had been done to her. But it's still an answered prayer, right? It's still an answered prayer. And, and, and I explained that to my mother, you know, I thought when she was talking about the things that were done to this young lady, it was horrific. It was terrible. It was, at the time, it was some of the worst stuff we had, we had heard, you know. And, um, but I saw it still as an answered prayer. She may have been returned, um, different, changed. Yes, 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 yes. But return nonetheless. It is it is an answered prayer. It is. It is. It is a still an answered prayer. We can mediate from here. We can mediate the wounds from here. You know what I mean? As a family, they can work on that. That that's something that will take years of, of travailing and trusting God, but it can be done. It can be done. Most importantly, he answered the prayer and, and she was brought back, right? Some people pray that, um, a, a, let's say a kidnapped individual is brought back, you know, at, and they are brought back, but they're just not brought back alive, right? And it seems like semantics, but at the same time, it talks about, it speaks to being very specific, you know, when we pray, very specific when we um, have expectations for sure um, from God and, you know, and then being open to really seeing what God is doing, what his true will is. But, um... That's all I have for you guys today. You guys tell me what you think about Never Too Late. I don't want you guys to associate um, this, this devotion with death or dying. That's not it. I just know that that is one of the number one prayers is that um, people are allowed to stay here on this plane. 
And it's one of the number one reasons why people separate themselves from Christ because he doesn't answer those specific prayers. You see, it is about not being too late to be restored back into the fold, you know, back into 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 the will of God. It is about that for sure. It's not about um, sicking God like a dog on your each and every problem. It is about earnestly wanting um, him to be involved in, in, in every decision that you make and knowing that his involvement is means that it is good and it is well, right? That's all I'm saying. Okay, you guys, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's raining here in Georgia. Hopefully, the sun will peep out for me. Hopefully, it has already peeped out for you. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. And until next time, honeybees, I'll holler.